family that has meant a lot to us her whole career. She was born and raised and then we sold her as a weanling. So, you know, when those horses go on and, and run in the best races um, in the world, you feel like you still have a part of them and, you know, they're still part of our extended families. I got to be part of her career as a thoroughbred racehorse from the time of being broke to the saddle to the time she came into the racetrack and started preparing for her first race. Uh, it was evident to us before she ever started that uh, she was a good horse. We match her up with other horses in the barn and she was dominant. Serengeti Empress, whose lead's built to eight, 10, 12, maybe more than that. Serengeti Empress saunters home to win the Pocahontas for fun. Wins by maybe 12 lengths on the wire. When we came back for a three-year-old year, she was ready to show she was one of the top three-year-old fillies in the country. What we thought going into the Rachel Alexander was shown to us that day. She won very easily, beat a very good group of fillies on that particular day, and we were excited about running the Kentucky Oaks. The winner of the Rachel Alexandra, it's Serengeti Empress and James Graham, Serengeti Empress, wire to wire. Yeah, when Serengeti Empress was coming down the stretch of the Oaks, it was, uh, was kind of surreal. Man, she is just something else on the racetrack. I mean, reminded me in some of her races like Rachel Alexandra, you know, just the type of running style and, and she just dominates her competition when she puts it all together. Serengeti Empress actually grew up and spent a lot of time on our farm very near where Ashado grew up. So two Kentucky Oaks winners, uh, you know, come out of the same, you know, patch of ground and just see her kind of following those footsteps like other Kentucky Oaks winners have that have come off of TaylorMade. A signature win like that, to do it with a filly that I picked out at the Keeneland sales was part of her life from the moment the hammer dropped that day to when she won was something that is hard to describe, a rush of emotions. It was just a, a, a real stamp on a career that I'm very proud of very proud of the barn and all the people that have worked for me. It was something that well, none of us will ever forget. Serengeti Ambrose's win was really cool from just all kinds of different facets for TaylorMade and then we're happy for all their connections and happy for Tom and it's just a great story and looking forward to seeing what she's going to do the rest of the year. I think she's going to notch some more great ones before the year's out.